This is one of those times I should have left well enough alone. Let's see what kind of trouble we get into today. I found out the hard way that this snow pusher is also good for dozing dirt. Hey, welcome back everybody. I think this is gonna be the last hurrah for moving snow. I probably don't even need to do it today, but I just want to. I used my rear blade earlier this winter a couple of times and it worked really well. The one difference is the ground was completely frozen at that time. It is definitely not frozen right now. Just six days ago, it was 68 degrees here. <laughs> and in a couple days, it's gonna be back up into the 60s. So we have a couple frigid days, dropped three, four inches of snow. I thought it'd be a good chance just to get this blade in action, show you what it's about. I'm concerned about the ground not being frozen anymore. Uh, we actually did a lamp plane job on here already, some grading out, so we loosened it up a little bit. It has had a chance to firm back down a bit, been driven over a decent amount. But this is kind of the trade-off with a rear blade. You know, there's no skid runners that I really know of to put on a rear blade or gauge wheels. Perhaps you can fab something up and make it work. So there's nothing to really prevent it from digging down further into the ground. Generally, rear blades don't dig down all that much, but we're gonna see how it is. We can adjust the top angle as well with our hydraulic top link to see if we can make it um, less aggressive if needed but if you're looking for a multi-purpose tool to maybe do some summer grading and try to figure out a way to further justify it if you are going to be in an area that has the ground frozen for a while then this could be a good secondary application in fact some guys only run rear blades to clear their driveways or their properties out so let's give it a shot today and see how it does as always we are proud to be sponsored by Bora wheel spacers if you're looking for a stability solution for your tractor wheel spacers can widen out the footprint make it a lot more stable on hills i'd encourage you to check out bora link down below hey a couple updates for you too if you follow the channel you know i busted a shear bolt on our uh on our ripper that we had i ended up getting some replacement shear bolts i contacted dirt dog to get their um recommendation on the replacement shear bolt and it was a grade two which kind of that kind of threw me off i was expecting it to be a grade five and i would have just assumed and got grade five but they said a grade two shear bolt and so that's what i went with however i did also get some grade five so you know if you look online on any of the discussions or if you google you know grade two versus grade five shear bolt you're going to get a lot of discussions on there and so i'm going to stick with the grade two for now we're going to see how it does we're going to have a real nice stretch of warm weather coming up so we'll get that frost out of the ground here i think pretty quickly um, and we'll see how it does but i have some grade fives as backups if these start to shear too quickly i guess time will tell but that's always a interesting topic of discussion shear bolts on your brush hogs on your uh, snow blowers all that kind of equipment that requires it the one you don't want to get for sure is going to be a grade eight so that grade two grade five discussion continues to go on let me know your thoughts so next up again actually the same video you guys might have seen me adjusting my top link quite a bit to try to get the right angle and get that engaged and uh, i'm actually kind of in process of, of working with a local company to have them try to start producing hydraulic top links for us but I couldn't, I couldn't wait. So I went on Amazon and I found something that I hope works. And so uh, just taking it out of the box now, we'll have to get it put on here pretty soon and tell you guys more about it. But this one came with hoses and fittings and all that. And whether it all works for us or not, I don't know. Let's see if we can get this out of here for you. Let's be jammed up. Hung up on something. There we go. So this is it, came with all this. I can't remember, I think it was around 300, 300 and change maybe for it. Um, with everything you see, oh, I stand corrected. There's no actual fittings on here. Or no, are there? Maybe they're underneath the caps. Okay, yep, there are fittings on there. So uh, we'll see if these work. They look like they may work at first glance but we'll find out that's the problem i have lots of times with attachments you know and you see this on grapples and and plows a lot too is if they come with the fittings and oftentimes you're going to have different fittings on your tractor there's not really a standard unfortunately on tractors on the front or on the back on what they have whether they're flat face or pioneer or um you know quarter inch or half inch or three eighths or whatever there's just so many variables oftentimes you'll have uh, maybe two male or two female or one of each and it's just crazy so sometimes i feel like they do better off just not giving you fittings because it's just an extra cost that may or may not work for you they could get an overall 
lower price point and you could just handle the fittings after the fact. Well, and hose lengths also vary too. So these hose lengths may or may not work for our application and every tractor is a little bit different. So we'll keep you updated to get you more information as we get it installed. And so the last thing is to point out that this is snow that we've had a week or so, maybe a little bit longer after we frost seeded. A lot of you guys weren't very familiar with frost seeding, which is it's this time of year. It's late February, early March, right in that ballpark where you're just spreading, broadcast seeding uh, right down into the snow. If you only have a few inches left or, or even bare ground that time of year, you start to get these major temperature swings, you know, above freezing, below freezing. You have some snow like this. All these kinds of events are going to work that seed down into the soil. And that's part of the magic of the whole process. So this is just kind of seeing what it's like here in action. When we shot that video, most of this area was bare ground. It was warmer temperatures. Now we're back down to freezing temperatures. It's that whole idea that's making the process work. All right, well, let's get that driveway plow before the snow melts away. Hey, I hope you're enjoying today's video. If you'd like to see more of them, we'd love to have you tag along. Hit that subscribe button right down below. And if you're in the market for something for your tractor, something for the front end loader, like a set of pallet forks or a grapple or a snow pusher, or even something for the three-point hitch, we sell all sorts of attachments. We ship them all over the country every day. Check us out at goodworkstractors.com. Well, we got about not even 50 feet and a grader blade is just doing what a grader blade does. This ground is not frozen at all. It's just piling up, ripping up the, the, the gravel instead of just the snow. It's not riding along on top like it was when the ground was frozen. It worked amazing. So that's kind of a seasonal thing, right? If you're deep in the heart of winter, I think that grader blade works really well. You get to the, the late winter, early winter situations, you know, when it's those first and last snows and the ground is softening, it's a tough sell. If I had some skid runners on there of some kind, uh, maybe even some wheels too, something along those lines that prevent it from digging down in, that would probably make a big difference. Either way, this is the last snow plowing chance I'm gonna have this year. I am gonna make something happen. We're gonna get it done with this guy right here. We're gonna go ahead, slap it on the Kubota and just knock it out, do a little bit of a plowing with the snow pusher. So let's get it hooked up and make this thing happen.
All right, guys, well, that failed spectacularly. Kind of should have expected it. It's spring right now, essentially, you know, warm temperatures, the ground has been soft, we graded the driveway, so even though we've driven over it, packed it down, it was just still too easy to move this material unintentionally. So as far as snow removal has gone for me this year, the fat lady has sung. We are gonna be pretty much dedicated to the spring and summer projects that we have going on. We have a whole bunch of them lined up, but all kidding aside, perhaps this showed you a different purpose for the snow pusher, almost like a front grader box, a box blade type of thing. So it could help potentially justify the cost a little bit more for you if you have certain applications at hand, although that wasn't my intention to show you that today. So anyway, that's gonna do it for us today. If you are looking for something for your tractor, again, check out goodworkstractors.com. We do. We sell and ship all over the country. So give us a shot. I want to thank you for stopping by, and until next time, stay safe. We'll see you soon.